Hello there, this is Ed Tadeo and welcome to Let's Animate. Um, today I'm going to share to you how I make the simulation of the animation of the tree from the last video. Here's the video. So I'm going to animate the tree using Blender 2.81 I think. Because I'm using the lower version. You can use the latest version or the lower version. So we're gonna animate. So let's start by um, importing the images. Let's say this is the image. These are images that were painted in Krita version five. Uh, you can you can uh, use other program if you want, and I painted it. Uh, and exported it as PNG. So I separated the leaves and the clouds and the sky all separate in transparent PNG. So and I will import it in the Blender. All right, we are now here in Blender. So I'll just delete uh, the default cube and the, uh, the light. All right, so we need to set up the camera. Let's set up the camera. So the camera is supposed to have, um, the rotation will be zero X. Oh no, 90 rather, 90. The Y is zero. And the Z or the Z is uh, 90 degrees. Okay. And let's go to the side view. Let's see what we'll do here. Zoom out by scrolling, okay. So we're gonna change uh, the Y to zero. And the Z into zero. All right, so we place our camera right along the floor, all right. So we're gonna import images. The images that we did, that we made in uh, uh, Krita. So Shift A, if you already know the shortcuts of uh, Blender, Shift A. So we're gonna have image and images as planes. If you don't have this, you can go to preferences and under edit, I think. And under add-ons, the search images. There, you need to check that and then then you're on the go. So, so we're gonna go again, Shift A, and images as planes. So we're gonna import these images. So from the background, the, the background, the clouds, the leaves, the trunk, and the other leaves, we're gonna import it, then we're gonna import it as images and planes. But we need to make the planes shadeless. So we need to check, choose the shadeless, and then the offset planes will be unchecked. So it will be stacked on each other, all of the images we're gonna import, right? So we're gonna import the images, and then we're not seeing anything, so we need to see the uh, render uh, texture. There you go. The render tex texture is now uh, as one image, as you can see, but we're gonna move everything uh, separately. So go here on our uh, panel here. I'm gonna select the, the the most uh, farthest images uh, image we're gonna select that it will be selected and then we need to drag it away uh, control G for grab there as you can see X for uh, dragging along X axis uh, hold on control if you want to uh, drag it along its units like uh, one unit uh, away there you go so the separated background is now 
Good. So select another image. Do that again. There you go. So we are now, these are now separated. If we view on our camera, just press the zero, it will look a little different. So we need to change our view of the camera. So we'll select the camera. Let's press this, the side of the view. There, you're selecting the camera if you press that. So we're gonna change the camera by pressing the camera button here on the panel here camera and then uh, instead of perspective under type we need to select orthographic all right now they are all uh, viewed aligned so but we need to zoom in so we need to change the scale of orthographic so we need to hold shift I think to be precise with our zoom there you go you need to be closer or not it's up to you so there there you go so it's now viewed on the camera so um, now we're, what we're gonna do let's see the camera what what's look like you can put the camera closer to our images just grab the camera and then X all right, so it's closer to, to our uh, object. Let's see if it's, okay, it still fits, right? Okay, now we need to edit the, um, our images, we're gonna edit it. So we need to turn off other images like the backgrounds and we're gonna edit um, this image, not that, this image select it all right we'll edit this and uh, create multi um, subdivisions for this uh, image all right so we're gonna tab press tab on your keyboard and then uh, control R to make a, a loop cut then press and then so we're gonna when you press it it will slide uh, from side to side but we're gonna right click so it will remain in the middle so after uh, creating that subdivision of two we'll select everything and then we're gonna right click then subdivide and then under here subdivision I'm gonna slide the subdivision up to 10 cuts and then select using planes right select this plane here so we're gonna select all the planes, right? Zoom in a little, and then delete faces. And when you press delete on your keyboard, then faces. Then do the same at the bottom. We don't need those uh, faces anymore. We're gonna create a, um, a vertex group. After selecting, we're still in edit group, all right? We're still in edit mode, then create vertex group, right? Just click here, go to the vertex group here, this one, then click plus. It will create a vertex group. So, after creating vertex group, go to, go here, all right? And then weight paint mode, all right? After weight paint mode, your bra, uh, your your uh, cursor will, will turn into a circle like this. So it means you're using a brush. So so we need to paint the weight. Uh, we're gonna assign weight uh, something that is uh, a soft. The area that will animate in the soft body simulation, right? We need go to here to see if it has uh, weight paint. Right now, as you can see, there's no uh, weight paint when it's blue. So 
we're gonna use our mouse or you can use a pen tablet if you want uh, you can turn down the weight paint uh, pressure all right then you can paint it like this and right now I'm using mouse so if you can use mouse you can use it and then you assign a weight paint there there you go okay now we have our weight on our vertices so let's uh, go now here to object mode again and then let's see if we are good all right so now our uh, object or the plane that we put there will have now uh, we can now apply a uh, soft body after putting weight paint there so let's go to uh, physics tab here physics tab and then soft body so after uh, after uh, after putting soft body we're gonna simulate this uh, the object using soft body all right so under object and friction we'll change this friction from 0.5 down to 0.3 right and the mass will be i guess 0.3 is all right and the uh, control point we'll choose the group that we created from the uh here this one all right now the simulation under simulation will change the simulation from one down to three i guess three is okay so now when we animate let's see if it will work it will now have a simulation of the soft body we're not done yet we're not done yet so now that we simulate our uh, soft body uh it's too soft all right for our animation if your animation uh, runs in um 12 frames per second of course our background should be same uh should be the same as your animation should be 12 frames per second so our camera this camera uh, has a um, I think it has uh, 24 frames per second all right so mm, that's all right if we are animating in full 24 frames we're gonna use every frame in our animation so we need to change this from 24 go to custom then make it uh, change the FPS to 12 all right now as we uh, see let's see the animation whoa so slow all right so don't worry if if this is uh, pretty slow for us we will apply uh, another simulation later so we're gonna apply uh, same method of this the simulation of this to the other uh, other background like this one. Oh no not that one that's a branch we were not gonna apply a soft body in the branch so the other uh, layer of uh, background this one we will change this we will do the same all right let's go let's go here let's go to view camera let's make the other one invisible so we're gonna do the same we're gonna edit press tab or sometimes you can go here edit mode and then we're gonna subdivide all right uh, let's make this a time lapse so uh, you know what to do
All right, as you can see, we made the simulation already. We distributed all the weight paint on each of the images of the foliage here in our painting. So, but we need the animation to consistently moving like uh, there's a strong wind or something. So, we're gonna apply uh, another uh, simulation which is uh, a force field. So we're gonna apply force field that is moving along like uh, uh, across our images or the, the leaves. So we need to make a um, force field. So we need to add another uh, object which is an empty object with uh, empty plane axis, all right? We're gonna add this, right? As you can see, there's the axis. Uh, it's not gonna be rendered anyway. So we need this to be moving along the x-axis. So we need the force field along with that uh, uh, empty space, all right? We need a force field. Just click this, and we're not gonna change anything on the uh force field so let's leave it as it is so we need the axis to move along the uh x-axis so let's go here let's divide our window so you can see We're gonna divide the window and then i'm gonna choose wait choose this one choose the graph editor Right, choose the graph editor. When you click this, you will see lots of uh, options there. So we, we choose the graph editor. So let's stop the animation for a while. So we need to create an instance here on the first frame, right? Just select the, uh, the blank axis, this one, the force field we created. Let's um, press I, you can press I, then location. All right, choose location, All right? And then here on the side, let's move this up. On this side, there's an arrow there. So you can drag it to the side or you can press N to view it. And then uh, let's go to the modifier here, modifiers, and then add noise. Ooh, there's a graph here, all right. So as you can see, it's moving like crazy. Oh, it's crazy. All right. So we need to make it bigger. Let's make it bigger. So we go to the scale, bigger and taller. All right, there you go. Bigger and taller. So we need to uh, make it a slow uh, moving all right, let's animate. Let's simulate rather. So it's moving along the X axis, as you can see. So let's put up the strength. There you go. Whoa, that's strong. All right, if you notice, it's like waving <laughs> like crazy, all right? It's all right, you won't be able to see the flapping like um, a cloth or something. So when you view it on your camera, it will look like this. See, but it's too strong. The force is too strong on this one. <laughs> all right, we need to scale down a little. Just a little. Stop it and let's uh, a little like that so let's try enemy uh, simulating but you know the the leaves are over overlapping here so we can we can just crop it later on so we can um, do the simulation right now we can just, let's see if the simulation is doing well let's see we can uh, zoom in if you want with the camera just select the camera 
right? Let's change the what's the camera oh, over here. The kind of the zoom. Let's say you want the zoom in so it won't um, view the other the other cuts of the frame. And then maybe we can grab the camera moving to uh, X axis or Y or Z. There we go. All right. So it's it's pretty good so far. So let's scale a little more. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, yeah. There you go. All right. So right now our simulation is doing well. So we're gonna remove move this. Join. There you go. So after this. Okay, our simulation is doing well from our um, animation. So we're gonna add our animation, the actual animation. All right, how do you add the actual animation? Uh, okay, we need to animate first the clouds. We don't need the clouds to be static. So we need to make this um, move like uh, along y-axis, like back and forth or something so let's undo that undo there so we're gonna move it let's move it all right from our first frame we're gonna grab it all right grab along with the y we'll move along here so this cloud this cloud it's moving faster than the bigger cloud, all right? After moving on the y-axis, uh, let's put an instance, let's control I, and then uh, location, and to the last frame, well, this one, last frame, 250, I'm gonna move it along y-axis again, there and then press I or instance then location but our problem here is this will slow slowly start animating we're really slow and then going fast and then slow again okay I'll show you here let's put this up again and then go to okay right right click here and then uh interpolation mode and go to linear it will change our uh, graph into linear so it'll be straight right since we do that all right let's go um here let's see so you can see it's moving constantly all right we'll do the same on the bigger clouds The animation of the cloud will be like this. Yeah. All right. Now that we made the animation of the background, we will now add our actual animation, the, the boy. Control A or Shift A rather. Shift A, then image, image, images as, as planes then go to the folder where you edited or where you rendered the animation all right you will have this animation if you know want to know about uh exporting uh images with blender you can go to the link to the description below then click that link right we'll see how i uh, export the images then uh, select everything uh, select everything
Click this animate images sequence, all right? Then shadeless again, and then uh, okay, everything is set to okay. Offset is off. Then okay, let's import. Import. Now we importing. Okay, that's the the <laughs> the boy is in the middle of the foliage. So we're gonna need to grab the the boy, grab X G X in the front, all right? In the front, all right? Let's move again a little, so we won't get confused. So if you view it, uh, it's it's kind of big for me. So it's it's either you can resize or not. So it's up to you. So I'm gonna scale it. Scale, then shift, so that it's precise, and then grab. We're gonna make it like this. There you go. So after that, um, we need to animate, or we need to see if our animation is good. All right. It's animating, but after a uh, few animation it will stop because uh look it's it's stopped here so we need to make these continuously animating all right so let's go here under uh materials properties under here go to the surface if it's not collapsed surface and uh, check the cyclic uh, checkbox here so it will cycle the animation all right all right when we play it all right when we play it it will go uh, animated uh, from zero up to 250 frames right it will animate let's see now see it 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 passed the uh, the limit of our animation it looped into infinity all right and it starts again from the beginning so but if you want your entire animation or simulation of the trees go up to let's say um, 300 enter 300 so 300 frames but your the problem here is your simulation is only 250 frames. If you go to physics, let's go here. Let's click your uh, the background, the, the the material of the first uh, image here. Go to the physics, right? It's only let's click the cache it's only 250 so we need to adjust it same as the the animation here on the timeline so the end will be 300 same as the timeline so do the same on the other simulation we did okay 300 all right so as we see now okay this the background especially this one we will adjust we will just adjust the uh, the timeline of that see this one select the first uh, the, the, the last um, keyframe and drag it up to the last keyframe so same as the background background the small clouds select it deselect it and then select the one not the not the, the first keyframe just the last keyframe and drag it up to the last keyframe 300 and let's go to view our animation here and then let's play the simulation 
now it's animating it's animating it's moving there you go we have our animation done all right now you can export this you can export your entire animation go here here under the output properties output collapse it then find a folder all right and then choose png png format here png and then uh, rgba you can choose rgba since we don't have transparent you can either use rgb or rgba alpha that means alpha and then start rendering now go to let's save it first whoops save and then render and then render simulation after rendering you can use your video editor to edit your animation with all the post uh, production effects so i hope you like my tutorial and i'll see you next time cheers Thank you.